Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to live this out Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello and if you're coming back then welcome. So in today's video I have played with this palette right here, as you can tell from the title, the thumbnail, and probably the eye look actually. This is the Morphe X James Child Childs Charles Eyeshadow Palette. I'm really, really excited. I have felt for a while like I needed to be more creative with my makeup and get back into the colour really. I just felt like I was kind of just lulling for a while and I wanted something to perk me up again when it came to makeup and this palette has done that it just ha it has unleashed my inner artist and I have hashtag shiv sister slayed sister shiv slay you know yeah I'm just going to open this up for you and show you what it looks like this obviously is the look that I have created using this palette but this is what it looks like on the inside you get 39 shades I damaged this one with my nail whoops it will be okay I dropped this and it lasted pretty well I mean no nothing is falling out or anything so that's pretty good but yeah I am so excited to have this palette in my collection and I feel like it is something that I actually needed when it came to makeup. Like I have bought so many makeup releases recently and this I feel like I needed. Like this has everything in it. It's absolutely beautiful. Like this up here would just be the perfect like warm toned eyeshadow palette and this is the perfect colors in the middle. It's just beautiful. But yeah, if you would like to see how I created this makeup look and my kind of initial thoughts on the palette, then please continue watching this video. Before you do, please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It means the absolute world is completely free and it will alert you when I upload a new video, which is usually every Thursday and Sunday at 6pm. I've been trying to kind of do three videos a week at the moment, but it's been a bit up and down at the moment. But definitely do subscribe. Also check me out on Instagram. I am Siobhan Makeup Biz. Trying to step up my creative flow and I've got a new theme slowly rolling on so that's exciting but yeah if you do want to see how I created this look and see me waffle on about this eyeshadow palette right here then please carry on watching this video okay so today is an exciting day I am filming with you've already seen it the James Charles X Morphe palette oh look how pretty it is Ooh, ooh. I'm so excited to play with this today. So I got this palette on the second launch. Nick helped me get it because I was desperate that I was going to miss out. And I just think it is absolutely amazing. And recently I have been feeling like my looks are like the same old thing all the time. And I want to get super creative again. So remember there was a time where I used to do like those creative looks. So I feel like this palette is definitely going to unleash your inner artist. He and yeah, Nick was really cute when he ordered it for me and it's finally ordered he sent, sent told me to shiv slay so sister shiv slay <laughs> anyway um i am super drawn to these shades at the top super i never say super anyway these shades right here this yellow and the green shades right here i just want to keep incorporate the blue maybe the purple i don't know i want to just do loads and loads and loads of color this orange is amazing and obviously this red is like un real i don't know if i want to do a complete rainbow look just yet um and at one point i do want to play with this purple right here it's purple with like flecks of blue glitter and it's absolutely beautiful see i'm super excited to play it with this palette i think morphe and james charles have done an amazing job and i feel like i have reviewed and played so many new palettes this year and this is definitely like one of my highlights so i'm just so excited i haven't even put it on my face yet but i already know it's one of my favorite palettes ever I'm so excited to play with this. So yeah, let's just dive straight in. I'm going to put some tape on the outer corner of my face. Face. Outer corner of my eyes to start off with. Okay, so I've stuck the tape on and now to jump into the palette. I'm so freaking excited right now. And I love that feeling when you're like really excited to do your makeup. So let's just jump straight into this palette. To be honest with you, I have no idea what I want to do, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, actually, no, I do want to, I do know what I want to do. I want to start off with the yellow. So... The first shade I'm going to go in with is this one right here, which is called B, which is a bright yellow colour, very appropriately named. And I'm going to take this, Ooh, oh my god, okay, it's not the easiest palette to hold just because it is so big. The brush I'm going to use for this is just an Anastasia blending brush that I'm going to use to apply this is the Anastasia blending brush that comes with the palette. So I'm going to be using a lot of brushes for this makeup look. Okay, so we are going into the shadow tapping off my excess and I'm going to work this into the front part of the crease. I'm going to leave enough room to kind of like add a cut crease. So yeah, I'm going to work 
that into the inner crease. There's a little bit of fallout, but nothing major. But I think that is really pigmented for yellow. I'm taking it quite high up so we've got room to actually cut the crease and so you'll still be able to see the yellow afterward. Bing. I've wanted to play with this palette for so long. I haven't done bright, bright colour in ages. The next colour that I'm going to go in with is this green colour right here, which is called Social Blade, which I think is very amusing. So I'm going to take this one right here and put this like in the middle of the crease area. And the brush that I'm using to apply it is the Primark 230 Blending Brush. I'm going to pack that in the middle of the crease. so cool already i'm so excited to be playing with color again yes then i'm just going to go back in with the yellow and just kind of go over the front of it again i'm also just going to bring it very slightly above the green just to blend it in a little bit so the next shade that I am going to go ahead and take is this bright blue colour called Playground. And I'm going to pop it on the outer section of my upper crease. And the brush I'm using to apply it is my MAC 217 brush. Parking that. Oh, this one is pigmented. This is a good blue. I'm just working that on the crease. I don't know why I put it on the lid, but we are going to fix it. Don't you worry. Slowly blending it into the green as well to create a nice transition. Then I'm going to go back in with the green. And then back in with the yellow as well. I'm just going to use the brush that has the yellow on it to kind of go over the top of the blue and the green. Just because I think it looks a little bit harsh here and I want to put, soften it out. I don't, it's going a bit weird on my eye and I really didn't want to say it, but it is. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of creating a weird line. I don't know if it's like my blending skills. Hmm, should be fine. I think I, what I need to do is just pack on a little bit more green and more blue just to kind of pack it on in that bit that is missing the colour. Yeah, okay. Just adding a little bit more makes it look better. Oh, no, this isn't looking how I wanted it to. The blue is amazing, but the green has done something weird top of my eye and I can't figure out why. It's like done like a line across here. Why has it done that? Looks like I don't know how to blend. Oh no. I don't really know how to fix this. Makeup washes off, makeup washes off. Don't freak out. Okay, we're gonna go in with more yellow, I think. Just hit that right there. That looks ridiculous. No. I am struggling with this eye. I don't know why. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. So if you can, yeah, you definitely can see right along here, the green has created like a weird, it's got blue everywhere, has created like a weird line across my eye and I don't really know why. It doesn't feel particularly dry on my brow bone or anything. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is just take off this eye and get it back up to this step. And then I'll come back once I'm kind of up to the yellow and green again on this eye. Don't want to have to see this, but I'm really not liking the way that it's looking with that little line. So I will be, I'll be. Okay, we are back with a redone eye. I've got rid of the weird green line. Obviously, I've kind of like missed out my brow bone. I haven't taken it as high as I did last time. I don't know what happened just then, but it did kind of glitch, uh, glitch, skip like a little bit. Like it had that weird line. Whereas this isn't, this time it's not really doing that so I don't know why it did that before but now I'm just blending the blue colour playground into the outer section of the crease just going to do the same on the other eye this eye is always my better makeup eye like I feel like it just blends easier my eyebrow always looks better then I'm just going to go back through the colours and make sure they're really nice and intense I've just wiped off the brush that has the yellow on it. I'm just going to very softly try and just kind of smooth out the top of this line a little bit. See, that looks so much nicer than before. I don't know why it was doing that weird line thing. It might be the mattes, to be honest, and I find that mattes tend to stick to my eyes a little bit, so maybe that's what it was. 
I'm gonna highlight the brow bone but much later. Okay, now let's cut the crease. So to cut the crease, I'm going to be using my Revolution Super Size Concealer and Define Concealer in the shade C4. I'm just gonna get my little synthetic brush that I use to carve my brows, apply some concealer to the brush, and then I'm going to use this to carve the crease. Putting a little dot there, then looking up. Then I'm just going to apply the concealer in a nice sharp cut crease. I'm gonna do like a full kind of cut crease and bring it right out like a wing liner. When you look straight ahead, you're able to work out if it's like where you want it. Okay, I'm going to do one eye at a time because I don't really know where I'm going with this. So, I've decided that the first colour I want on the lid is actually going to be a white. So, this colour is called... I'm going to go in with this white colour here, which ooh, 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 is called Flashback. And I'm going to take this on the inner section of my eye. Just going to keep packing it on until it's really nice and intense. The next shade I'm going to go in with is this orange shade right here, which is called a 518. I'm going to put this on the middle of my eye. I think I'm going to go for blue. I was going to use purple, but I might put that on the lower lash line. But I'm going to take this colour. I'm going to take this colour right here, which is called Cola, which is like an electric blue, like a navy blue. I'm going to pop this on the outer section into that like wing shape. Ooh, okay, this is new. This is hip. This is happening. I am literally like 72 years old, I swear to God. Then we just keep building up the colours to build up the intensity. Taking on more of that orange. And blend it together a little bit. Okay, this is cool. I think I'm going to finish off this eye and then do this one off camera because this is taking far too long. I'm going to apply a winged liner. I'm going to take the Revolution Renaissance Eyeliner. Just because I feel like when I have my wing on, I can kind of look and see how I like it. So I'm going to pop my winged liner on. Oh my god, this eye is watering. I hate when this happens. I do like a really intricate makeup look. Sometimes my eyes just get a little bit like, no, it's always this eye as well. Okay, I'm just gonna peel off the tape. Like so. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now I can kind of see what it's gonna look like. Ooh, dropping everything everywhere. I'm just going to curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm taking the Revlon Volumazing Mascara. The lashes that I'm going to be taking are by Luz Lashes, but I got these from Rincon Cosmetics on Beauty Bay, so I'm a bit confused on what the actual brand is. But on the back they say Luz Lashes, distributed by Rincon Cosmetics. I'm a bit confused, but I will link them in the description box down below. They are really, really pretty, wispy, and they go bigger at the outer corners than my favourite kind of lashes. They actually have quite a bit of a gap between the lashes, which I think will be good so I can actually see the makeup look. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these on off screen, and I'll be right back. And also with this eye kind of like this eye. <laughs> Lashes are now on. Now it's time to move on to the lower lash line. I really like this makeup look now that I've kind of persevered with it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on a liner on my waterline. This is the shade Indigo Bird by Sigma. Just a like blue colour. really pack that on there now i'm actually going to go in with a little bit of purple this is called a single i am not single but you know this is a beautiful color and purple is my favorite color for eyeshadow so i'm going to take that right here i'm going to apply this on the outer section of my lower lash line i'm going to use this little brush from spectrum collections i'm just going to pack this just on the lower lash line trying to get as little amount of pos as possible in 
out of my eye. What? Trying to get as little as possible in my eye, basically. So I'm just packing that on the outer kind of section of the lower lashes. I feel like I want to add a pink. Yep, I'm going to do it. The next colour I'm taking is this one right here, which is called Skip. Also from the same palette, obviously, this hot Barbie pink. I'm going to be popping it right on this inner corner section right here. And I'm taking this on a new brush I haven't used before. It's a BH Studio Pro 11 brush. It's really, really tiny and straight. Taking that right to the inner corner. Okay, this is starting to look really cool. Okay, I actually really like this. Yay, I'm getting excited again. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with a ring light, which is this one right here. And I'm going to use this on my brow bone and my inner corner as well, just on a little pencil brush. Actually, I don't want to apply it to the brow bone, just the inner corner. This is pretty, looks nice on top of the yellow. Okay, let's move on to my face. Moving on to the face, I'm going to go in with Primark's Primer Water. Just spraying this on. And then giving it a good old fan dry. Okay, so for my actual primer, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This is just a little sample that I got recently, so I need to give it a go. I'm going to squeeze some out, see how I like it. About this much. Rub it between my fingers and smooth it into my porous areas, so my forehead, nose and my chin. And then blend it all out. Then for foundation, I'm going to go in with a Revlon Colorstay foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. And I'm taking a brand new Real Technique sponge. Um, I usually like them when I've used them about two or three times. For my cream contour, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze. She doesn't have much left, which is why I'm using it, just to try and get rid of it. Um, I do really like this concealer. It just gets forgotten about nowadays. So I'm going to try and use it up under my cheekbones, around my temples. You know the drill, people. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do an Instagram video, so I'm just going to put this in fast forward. I don't know what this hand is doing. I'm like, you know, doing some speech thing with my hand right now. <laughs> little bit down my nose and then I'm just going to use this Real Techniques Expert face brush to blend it out I need a new cream contour brush you guys this is falling apart so let me know I need a new one Now that's blended out, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral to Cream Highlight and conceal my face on my chin, under my eyes, forehead and my nose. And of course I'm going to blend it into the skin using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Just in dubbing motions. Dab, 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 dab. For powder, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade Peach Glow, which is well loved as you can see. Just stamping this into the skin to set it into place. Mm -hmm. 
up now for contour i'm going to go in with the sigma sculpt palette and i'm going to take this shade here which is called throw shade mm, i'm going to take faking it i'm going to take this shade right here which is called faking it from the sigma sculpt palette to contour my cheeks So we're going to take that along the forehead. This just, this just helps to add some more shape to the face and makes it look quite nice in photos. A bit under the jaw as well. And then down the nose. Then I'm going to bronze up the face and I'm using the Technic Superfine Matte Bronzer in the shade. It doesn't have a shade, but I'm going to take this bronzer right here on my fancy coat bronzing brush. Then for blush, I'm going to go in with the Sigma Corda Rosa Aura Blusher. And I'm taking this on my Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. Okay, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit with the bronzer brush. Then I'm going to set my face and I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then fan it dry. For my highlight, I'm actually going to go in with a bit of a bougie product and it is the Dior Glow Face Palette. <laughs> that didn't sound very bougie when I said it. Anyway, I'm taking the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette and I am going to take this one right here which is called strobe gold I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit of primer water just to help intensify the highlight oh would you look at that it's beautiful just above the brow as well for a glow i'm gonna be that person and put some on my chin never done it before but here we go a little bit don't know how i feel about that yes honey that's a highlight and a half you know what i'm saying I'm also going to take that on the tip of the nose, down my nose, and also on the top of my lip. Oh, this highlight palette is so beautiful. I'm just going to use the brush for my blush to quickly kind of go over the highlight and just blend it in a little bit. Now I'm going to set my brows into place. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. going to pop a little bit more of that purple shade just to intensify it on my lower lashes and then I'm going to pop on some mascara on my lower lashes for lips I'm going to line them with a nude just because there's a lot going on here so I'm going to line them using a max strip down lip liner And then to fit the Morphe theme of this video, I'm going to go in with Morphe's Wifey Lipstick. Because, you know, I am a wifey. Well, not officially. In a few times, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to stop being silly and take this gorgeous nude lip right here. And this is the finished makeup look using the James Charles X Morphe palette. I am so happy with how this look turned out. I did have a little bit of teething issues in the beginning with that green, um, what's it called? Social Blade colour. However, with Perseverance, it looked amazing and I'm really happy with this. And I feel like I feel excited again and inspired to play with colour, which is always amazing. So yeah, I love this eyeshadow palette. I feel like I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of it if I can open it. Just look how many colours you get in it. It's absolutely beautiful beautiful i think it's so nice i can't wait to dive into like these bronzy shades up here the purple i need to get my eyeballs on it's absolutely beautiful i need to dive into the red like this gold color up here and these like big pans as well there's so many colors that i want to just dive into but yeah i really liked this palette i did have a little bit of teething issues but we got there in the end but yeah if you did enjoy this video please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it means the absolute world i don't really know what i'm doing with my elbow right now that's me telling you to subscribe but yeah leave me a comment down below let me know if you have this palette if you have tried it out if you managed to get your hands on it i got mine on the second release and i'm absolutely so happy with it so yeah i shall see you next time thanks so much for watching bye oh 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 let's hold it this way here we go oh my god oh my god
This eye is always my better makeup eye. Does anyone have that? They will have I can't draw today. I had a brush in my hand for the next colour. Where are you? Okay. The next colour I'm going to take is this colour here, colour here. I didn't squeeze it out enough. And I've squeezed water all over my carpet. Okay. Okay. Full powder. Oh, hang on. Just got it all over my hand. to pop a little bit more of that purple shade mm. Mm. And and this is the finished makeup look using the James Charles lot and this is the finished makeup look looks not on about now I'm just do the whole thing again because that was a complete mess if you did enjoy this video give people <laughs> So yeah, I absolutely love this palette. I feel like I'm going to be getting... Oh my god. So yeah, I absolutely love this palette. I feel like I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of it. Out. Oh my god, I can't even talk. 